Hey guys, what's good? Jado Rural Activity here, and today I'm bringing you guys a domination game on slums. It's only gonna be on one side of the map. I think actually I've got a full party, and this is what happens when I play with a full party. We just go full beast mode. I think I got all my streaks like twice or something. Not quite sure, but that's not really where I want to talk about. Right now, as we speak, E3 is like live basically, and there are a lot of games already being announced by a lot of companies and I want to talk about a couple of them and I'm really interested in some games and others I'm not really that interested in but just that's basically just because I don't like these kind of games okay so first thing first Call of Duty Ghosts <laughs> I, I had to think like what I was, what I was gonna say but Call of Duty Ghosts I haven't seen the trailer so far. I've seen um, the cinematic trailer, but I haven't seen the gameplay trailer. Trailer. Uh, why? I'm not really interested in Call of Duty Ghosts right now. It's gonna be the same as every Call of Duty. Only thing, it's gonna look better. Hopefully the colors are the same as Black Ops 2. That means just a really colorful map and stuff like that. And hopefully it's gonna be better as this Call of Duty. Like, in my opinion, every Call of Duty that comes up is better as the previous one. In my opinion, Black Ops 1 was better as Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 was better as Black Ops 2. Definitely in the way of how the game played. And Black Ops 2, in my opinion, is maybe even the best Call of Duty ever. I've, in my opinion, Call of Duty 2 is an amazing game. And I'm not quite sure if Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is better as Call of Duty 2. But, you know, I really enjoyed this game a ton. And I didn't know, I don't know why I actually Dolphin dived right there, but whatever. Um... Just clearing up that flag. Here we go. Let's do, do. Oh, oh, almost dead. I survived. Great. <laughs> no, but Call of Duty Ghost doesn't have my interest. I'm not quite sure what to say about it. I think it's just going to be in a, a really good Call of Duty game. But as for right now, I'm going to buy it. But I'm not really that interested in the game itself. Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is going to be 60 frames per second on console. At least that's what they are saying. That would mean a lot to me. To me, that would mean that it has potential to like get sold way many more times as Call of Duty does. To me, Battlefield 4 on 60 frames per second means that there is a new amazing game, you know, coming out, which is really cool for me. And we're like, you know, I'm really interested in a 60 frames per second Battlefield game. I would love it. Now. We've got some other games coming out which we haven't seen before. Titanfall. It's going to be Xbox One exclusive. Which basically means that probably how it looks right now. I'm not going to be able to play it. Since I'm going to buy the PlayStation 4. Because it, I think that PlayStation 4 is just going to be better. I'm not a fanboy. I just think that it's going to be a better console overall. So that's why I would... That's probably the reason why I'm going to buy the PlayStation 4. So Titanfall, also not really interested to me. Is it going to be the cut killer? No, definitely not. You need, you have to be a multi-platform um, game if you really want to be the cut killer. And Titanfall is not a multi-platform game, so no cut killer. Other games, Destiny. Destiny is going to be the Call of Duty of PlayStation 4, I think. You know, we are, uh, play, I'm, I always say we. Uh, PlayStation 4 is going to get DLC content earlier and I think that Destiny is definitely gonna be an amazing game and I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it It looks really sick. It's from Bungie and Bungie also created Halo 4 and all other Halo games So I think that this game is gonna be really sick Other game The Division Hopefully this game is gonna be as great as it looked on E3 Hopefully this game is just gonna fuck up every other game. This game looks amazing. And actually, I'm going on Relentless right here. I'm not dying. But everyone just leaves. And that's just really shitty for me. But whatever. Um, I just love the way how um, Division looked like. And I think that the Division is gonna be the best game out there. And it's an open world RPG. If you haven't seen the trailer, if you haven't seen the gameplay trailer, definitely check it out because it's. I think this is gonna be the surprise. This is gonna be the the game that's gonna surprise all of us. It's from Ubisoft, and Ubisoft is amazing. Listen up, Assassin's Creed, amazing game. 
it's not trying to win a war like Battlefield 3 won wanted to win a war against Modern Warfare 3. No, it's just there. Ubisoft just releases games and everyone loves them. My name is JD or Blue Light 50. Definitely check that uh, trailer out and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'm out. Peace.